Hey, Gigi Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So, today's episode, we got this cool oven right here. And basically, what this is is an 8 in 1 microwave air fryer oven. And we see for the one that we got right here from this brand. And right here is basically what the package looks like in the front. If you guys turn to the side, they do probably got some of the specs and features on here. So, they mention how the product works as an air fryer, a grilling option, microwave option, a warmer option, dehydrator, and also yogurt maker as well. And you guys can see when you guys first get the package, they do give you guys a hand on both sides. So that way you can carry around really easily. But this is basically what the package looks like when you guys first get it. Let me actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. So when it's first open up, the first thing inside they do probably guys a user manual and also a recipe book to show you guys how to use the product for different meals as well. And then right underneath that, we do have the product. And it's all nicely wrapped up. So take everything out first. So because the product is pretty heavy, let me actually put this down on the floor so that way I don't drop it. All right, so once you guys take it out, here is basically what the product looks like. So let's take off the bag first. Once you guys do take out the bag, this is basically what the product looks like. So I'm actually bring it a little bit closer to show you guys a close up view of what the product looks like. So pretty much right here is basically what the front part looks like. So they do have the brand logo right here. They do have the handle for you guys to open it really easily. And then right here, we do have all the button controls. And right here, the knob for you guys to adjust this different temperature setting on here. That also work as a start and stop button. And top part right here is the display screen. So this is what actually looks like in the front. Right here, we do have the side. And we assume right here is the ventilation option to prevent the powder from overheating. And if you guys turn to the back, here is basically what the back part looks like. So the back part right here, they also have the ventilation fans well throughout the pot in the back. So that way you don't have to worry about the pot overheating or anything. Right here, we do have the cord or the cable for the plug in to activate it. If you guys turn it one more time, here's what this side looks like. And if you guys turn to the bottom, here is basically what the bottom part looks like. So you see how they do have the legs on here that's adjustable. So that way you can make it higher or lower based on your own preference. Depending on where you guys do put it, if it's not evenly leveled, you do have the option to level right here. But now let's put it back down and then we'll show you guys what the inside looks like. So if you guys do open up the inside, here's basically what the inside looks like. So the way how they design the product basically works as a microwave option, but they give you guys all the different options available that I mentioned in terms of the baking option, the air frying option, etc. If you can see the accessories that's inside, let's take everything out first. So right here, we do have the first accessory. If you guys take this part out, Right here, we do have the plate for the microwave option that you can put down. But let's take it out to show you guys what it looks like. All right. So once you guys do take it out, here is basically the plate that's in the bottom. So you basically just want to put this inside like a regular microwave option when you guys do use it. And you probably want to peel out the tape inside before I do. And wipe out the inside as well. To make sure it's completely clean before I do put it on. So just like that, once you guys do put it in, there's a use the microwave option. But right here is some more stuff. So right here, they do probably this option. They probably use for the air fry basket option or something. And right here is basically the other part that you put inside. So you guys don't put this in the bottom. And once you guys do that, that will allow you guys to rotate the product when you guys do use it. And if you guys don't know what is safe to use inside when you guys use the microwave option, the air frying option, etc. They do probably got information inside right here in the user manual. And see right here, they also show you guys what you guys cannot use as well. And inside right here, they do explain to you guys what each different part is. So this part right here is basically the big tray. And the other one is the big rack. And then right here, we do have the microwave option. And that is basically how you guys do set it up. But I'm assuming for this big tray or big rack option, you do have the option to use the air frying option as well. And I do mention when you guys do the product, you do have the option to put like a whole entire chicken inside if you guys do want to, because it is very big. And if you guys are curious about how to actually use the baking option or the air frying option, you basically want to put this on top inside the glass tray. And once you guys do that, you can put this on top. So just like that. And the way how to design it allow you guys to use this either side. So use it this way or the other way. But basically the way how to design it is actually pretty cool. So that way when you guys use the air frying option, it will leak to the bottom part right here. And that way you can clean right here when you guys do need to use it. But obviously when you guys use the microwave option, you do not want to use both these accessories. But that is basically everything that's included in the package. Let me just go plug in the cable to show you guys what the product looks like and also show you guys how it works. And then we'll come back and talk more product in a second. All right, so once you guys plug in the cable, here is basically what the product looks like. So let's see when you guys do plug it in, it does turn right here. And probably if it's the first time in the product, you do want to wash everything first and make sure it's all clean before you guys do use it. So that way you know everything's clean. But if you guys try to use the button on here, let me show you guys what it looks like. So 
So you basically have the option to change the power. And once you have the dungeon press right here, if you guys want to use something else, that's the air frying option. So right now it's 100 degrees. If you guys want to change it, you basically use this knob right here to change it. And it's very easy and very simple. So each time when you guys want to press something different, you guys need to cancel it. And then press again. If you see everything on here definitely does work when you guys do use it. And if you guys press this button right here, that basically turns it on and that helps you guys remove the older inside, which is pretty cool. And the cool thing about the product is the fact that it does have a mute button. So if you guys press right here, that basically mutes it so that way you guys don't hear any sound when you guys press it. So that way you guys won't disturb anyone when you guys do use it, which is pretty cool. But if you guys do want to turn it back on, you basically want to press and hold again. and that turns back on. So really cool how it does have the option available. And if you guys want to do the microwave option, you basically want to press right here, if you guys want 30 seconds. If you guys want to pause it, press that. And if you guys want to cancel, tap again, and that will cancel it. And the cool thing about this product is the fact that when you guys do open it, there is a light that turns on, so that you can see everything inside. So you definitely have like the microwave option, the air frying option, and the baking option as well. And I love how they do have this option here to show you guys how to use the microwave option if you guys are cooking like wings, soup, or anything else. But once you guys are done, you have to close back up. And the light turns off. And if you guys notice for the size of the product, it's pretty big and it is pretty bulky. So it does take a lot of space when you guys do set it up. So whether if you guys want to set this up onto the wall or if you guys want to set this up onto your table, however you guys want to use it, that is totally up to you guys. But now let's test something on here to see how well it works. So we're basically gonna test out the microwave option to show you guys how it works and what actually works. So I'll just take a few pieces and put it on a plate and we'll test it out. So you can see for the tayakis, they are frozen. But basically what I'm gonna do is open it up, put it inside, and make sure the plate that's put inside is microwave safe. Like I mentioned for the product, you do have the option to use the air fryer option or you can use the microwave option. For this test, we'll just try the microwave option. So I can close that up. All right, so that's 30 seconds. If you guys do open up, you can definitely see the smoke that's inside. And the reason why is because it's the first time using the product, which is totally normal. So when I do feel the product, it definitely feels pretty hot, but the product is basically all cooked. But like I mentioned, you do have the option to use the air fryer option. Let me show you how it works if you guys do use it right here. All right, so now we got the air frying tray or the baking tray inside. So let's test it out. So you just press air fry. You just want to change the degree that you want to use. So once you select it to 350, you basically want to press right here and press again. And that basically starts cooking the product inside using the air frying option. So you definitely have the option to set your own timer on here or you can just keep it on to 350 as long as you want. So let's do open up. It basically stops it. And that is basically what the inside looks like when you guys do use it. And it is recommended for you guys to actually uh, turn on the air fryer or the microwave option for like five minutes at a high temperature setting before I do use it. Because when you guys do open up, you can see some of the smokes that comes out, which is totally normal. All right, come back guys. So when I saw a quick test the product, you definitely actually does work, actually works quite well. And you see when we do use a product, everything about the product definitely works pretty well. And it's actually very easy for you to use as well. You basically have the option to use all the different settings on here, like I mentioned, in terms of the odor removal option, the air frying option, the baking option, the microwave option, and so much more. And when you guys do clean the product, it's actually very easy to clean as well because they do have like, the stainless steel material inside and the glass material on the outside. So that would wipe it down each time when you guys are done using it. I think the only thing, if there is any issue about the product, is probably the size of the product. It is pretty big. But if you guys don't mind that issue, then the product is actually pretty cool. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to come unboxing and test the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth it on. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality microwave that also work as an air fryer option, a baking option, and all the other options as well, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it.